Good morning, we're Magico Chicanos, and we, we came, came on, on a great, great day. day. Today, we are giving you a comprehensive look at Disney California Adventures Food and Wine Festival 2024. And before we do that, we're gonna go to the original park, try some food, and go on some cool rides. I'm so excited, this is my favorite part of Disneyland Main Street USA. Hi baby. I think the horse was a little like curious. Oh, it was a treat. I hope he didn't get scared. He's like, oh, ice cream? Robotic ice cream? <laughs> oh, it's was that cable. not the most prettiest horse ever? Oh. Anyway, we're on our way to Market House, Marketplace House. I don't know what it's called. It's pretty crowded in Market House today, as you can see. And I think I know why. Starbucks launched a new spring drink. And guess what? It's got lavender in it. <laughs> so excited. They have a matcha form and they have a coffee form. And maybe we'll try both because I love all things flowers, all the pretty flowers. Once we get past this line, we'll let you know how it goes. The first one is the lavender cream matcha latte, which is so delicious. It's got this oat cream on the top that is essence of lavender followed by the matcha that's mixed with the oat milk that makes it super sweet and delicious. Mm. A triumph. The second drink is this coffee iced uh, latte, lavender. It's got la essence of lavender in the iced coffee. So when we drank this, I can really taste the lavender, but that's okay. I mean, it's still coffee and it's, the, uh, between the two, I would pick the, the matcha. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm a huge, huge matcha lover, and Pedro is too, because it's it's also it provides a lot of good benefits. Um, obvious, any right, but not like don't quote me for Starbucks benefits other than the caffeine gets you. But but the winner today is this guy. It's definitely the winner of our book, and of course, the ultimate winner is water. That wins every time. Yeah. <laughs> we can go through the. Oh, look, it's Mary Poppins. Oh, Mary Poppins? Hey, Miss Poppins. Want some tokens? Tokens? Now that we're done playing with Miss, Mrs. Poppins. Mary what? Poppins. Never ever Mrs. Poppins. It's always Mary Poppins. Mary if anything, Poppins. If anything, Mr. Saving Mr. Banks has taught us is to use it properly. The name. What were you saying? What I'm saying is now that we're done watching the show with Mary Poppins, mm -hmm. what's next? So we had a goal in mind before we head over to California Adventure is to ride, each of us ride a ride that we've never been on in the park. Well, there's one ride that I haven't been on in a long, long time. And can you guess what that ride is? Dumbo? You guessed it right! So Dumbo, let's go check it out. And just look at this line for Peter Pan's journey or flight. Peter Pan's flight. Yes, spring has sprung. I mean, even Snow White is just gross. Get over here. Oh boy. 
It was a pretty good time for uh, Peter Pan, 60 minutes. No, 30, 30 minutes, Snow White. Coming through this line queue, I have not seen any of these banners before. I mean, obviously I haven't been on this since a long time ago, but they're so cute. They're just like the little ones in the movie uh, in the, during the intro, like all the credit intro. Uh, I love it so much. And then you, there's that glass like thing over there that has the, the elephants that are standing on the ball, the Tower of Elephants. Yeah. It's so cute. It's like you're in the movie. Exactly. Time for a pub quiz. Let's see if you know this answer. What is the name of that guy right there? So let us know down in the comments the name of that mouse. Name that mouse. There's lots of mouses. Not mice. Mickey. There's lots of mice characters. Not yeah, we'll give you some clues. It's not Mickey. It's not Gus. It's not Jack. Not Minnie. It's not Minnie, it's not Remy, it's not any of those. Speaking of comments, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This means so much to us. Y síganos en nuestra nueva página en YouTube, Magical Chicanos. Yes, please follow on Instagram as well. We're on Instagram doing little reels. Uh, Magical Chicanos on Instagram, Magical Chicanos on YouTube. También síganos en Instagram, Magical Chicanos. Thanks guys. We got the pink one. Again, I do not remember going on this ride at all, but I'm excited to go. So, people want to know what makes you a magical Chicano? Oh, oh my god. Oh, okay. What makes that? This is hard to think about. What makes magical Chicano? Obviously, I got the Chicano part down. My parents were both Chicano, born in Los Angeles, East LA. Whoa. So, automatically, I'm a Chicano, right? Yeah. But what makes me a magical one? <laughs> what makes me a magical one is I've spent my whole life here. And Disneyland means so much to me. You and I met here. Mm hmm. You and I worked here. Mm -hmm. You and I fell in love here. Yes. And that on top of everything else, my whole childhood, all the time I've spent with my friends, that is why I'm a magical Chicano. Or that's what, that, what makes, that is what makes me a magical Chicano. After a hundred years not being on this ride, what do you think? Uh, I was more concerned about the camera, uh, not... Finding its access to the yeah. earth, <laughs> I yeah. think it was losing its mind. It was crazy. Our it was freaking droid. out more than us. <laughs> but, so, um, but but overall, like it, it was it was pleasant. Um, we didn't get a chance to like go up and down, but the moment I started enjoying myself, it was over. So I was like, oh, well, that's why I don't go on this ride. <laughs> and I was too busy focusing on my stomach. It was having that roller coaster sensation. Oh no, being old sucks, guys. Yeah, <laughs> it, but it was cool. It was fun. I had a nice view. Do not approach them. Let them approach you first. Yep. Do not approach them. Let them approach you first. <laughs> Let them approach you first. Don't worry. The sun still rotates. Around the plane. Now. But have your imaging devices out and ready. And do we sign autographs here? No. I don't know. We don't sign anything. Pull up the checks. You can take it up to you. Come with me. Good luck. Oh my god. Uh oh. You said they had information. Are you with the I'm just right here. I'll go find it. Differently earlier, sir. You're on their word. A little tip for you guys the best way to get the information. I'm sorry, sir. Oh. I put my brain over. Happy? We're not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, God. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, so I'm going blank on the name of this ride, but it's the one with the Millennium Falcon. So don't be mean. <laughs> I call it the Han Solo ride. So the reason why we decided to go on this ride, because we've been on it before, but we want to show you guys how to go into a different mode when it is running. With the consent of whoever else is riding with us, hopefully they'll say yes, we can do the Chewy mode. I think it's, I don't know, I'm trying to remember what this ride is called. Oh. Oh. Smugglers, Smugglers? Smugglers Bay. Smugglers Bay? I don't know. Hello, hello, my friends. I am Hondo Ozaka, and this is Ozaka Transport Solutions. Flight crew, that's what we're called. Por favor, permanezcan sentados. Does everyone want to do chewy mode? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Seatbelts on. Do not click any buttons. Don't Very touch important. Me. You do not click any buttons. I will click the buttons for you. Chewy. Yay! Chewy! Chewy! Up and down, left and right. Are we doing up and down, Pedro? Okay. Go right, go right. So we just got done with the ride and I think we feel miserably. Yeah. Chewy sounded mad, so. <laughs> that was fun. And the way to do this is first step one, you get the consent of all your flight crew. You have to make sure you do that because they will ask you if you've asked permission from everybody. Then they ask you not to touch any buttons because the person who's checking us in will press the buttons designated for Chewy mode. So don't touch anything. If you have little ones, tell them no. Step three, enjoy. We're hungry, so we got ourselves a little snack before we head over to DCA. Both the plant-based and the meat option. It is the Rancho wrap with tangy slaw and sausage. It looks like there's some chicken in there too. And this was the Ronto Liss garden wrap. Look at that. They look almost some identical. Cucumbers, some, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, sauerkraut? And some. Tangy slaw. Some spicy sauce. And of course. It is delicious. Both options are so good. Yeah. Mm. Never disappoints. I've never tried this before. It's really good. I like got hot dog. There's like a subtle hint of spice coming from the sausage. Um, but then you have the, the, the slaw that just sort of mellows that out. It's like, oh, don't worry. Like, it's not super spicy. Here's some slaw. The slaw all over your tongue. Really good. Hey, you can't go wrong with a nice cup of water. Because it's free. And healthy. Like a two eyes of blue, but don't let those happy get you. Has anybody seen my gal, my gal? Has anybody seen my gal with my baby? Anybody seen my little sweet gal? Has anyone seen my gal? Okay, so we are back in DCA and we are going to get a little more insight as to what you need to do to be prepared for the Food and Wine Festival. All right, so aquí estamos at Disneyland California, en el evento que se llama 
Food and Wine. La primera cosa que tienes que hacer es ir aquí en este bus y a comprar estos pases. Son dos. La primera, por cuatro comidas, sale a 31 dólares. Simple. Pero si pagas 56, te agarras este con esta cosita así, se ve todo bonito y va a salir a 56 dólares por 8 comidas entonces, vas aquí compras esto y bueno, puedes ir a, a comprar y adornar comida y eso es todo, simple Here we have our tasting passport This tells you all there is to know about the sip and savor pass This pass right here, the red one, which is the one I have gives you 8 options eight selections okay you can choose between all of the different booths i do believe that there are let's see how many booths there are there are 10 booths here's a tip you can purchase up to all eight if you choose you can basically pre-order them say i want to order the pizza wings all the way down at cockadoodle moo i can order them here at golden dreams I get my receipt, I walk down to Cockadoodle Moo, I get my wings, present them the receipt, they mark it off, keep the receipt, guys. It's very important. So you can, it makes it so much easier not to wait in line. Here's another caveat to that. Depending on the day, they cannot pre-order certain items. The most popular item. So today it was the pasta carbonara and the sirloin and one other thing. It changes throughout the day. I mean, throughout the week. It's day to day. Whatever they have available. They cannot guarantee that. That's why they don't want to sell them pre-order. So what we ordered today was the macaron snicker, the chile relleno empanada, the shrimp bambas locas, and the raspberry almond cake. Now that I've pre-ordered our macaron, all I have to do is go into the pickup line where it says pick up here. That easy. All right, I got the Mickey shaped macaron here with the Snickers bars pieces. Doesn't that look charming? If you love Snickers, get it. I just remembered, I don't love Snickers. The peanuts in there are so peanutty. P90X. And a lot of people say yes. I don't. Sorry, Mickey. I'm going to pass. I don't eat Snickers all the time, but I remember enjoying Snicker bars when I was young, so we'll see. It tastes exactly like a Snickers bar wrapped around a macaron. That's what they were going for, so they nailed it. We are here at Uncork, California to get our next item, which is the raspberry almond cake. Since we pre-ordered, all we have to do is walk over to the pickup and get our prize. Do not lose that. Don't lose this guy's This ever. thing blew away and she went running after it. Look at that. Raspberry almond cake. Let's give it a little shot. There we go. Oh, yeah. Salud. Oh, my God. This is dangerous. <laughs> it's creamy. Very, it's like eating a cheesecake. Oh boy. But it doesn't taste like a cheesecake, but it feels like a cheesecake. Oh god, I really like this. Should I? Do you dare? <laughs> oh. Get over here. There you go. Oh yeah. This is a win for me. My turn. 
It is an almond cake with the raspberry mousse, like a dollop of raspberry mousse, with fresh raspberries on it, in it. So I want to try all of it, the trinity here. Got a little bit of mousse, a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of cake. Mm. I see what you mean about it tasting like a cheesecake. It's dense. It is so like moist. Look at that. The cake brick. I like the mousse. It's real like sweet and tart. I Yeah. Mm. And they just carefully kiss it with like a glaze of something, like a sugar glaze. Look at how it shines in the light. Whatever that is, you're doing it right. I want to rate a three, uh, all three star because it looks appealing to the eye. So there's one star. It smells amazing. So that's two star. And it tastes amazing. So a three star. There it is. In Spanish, aquí estamos a esta tiendita acá afuera. Tenemos un chingo de merches de uh, food and wine. Puedes comprar las mochilas, playeras, suéteres y también puedes comprar los pases también aquí. Pero nada más los pases no puedes adornar conmigo aquí, pero los pases puedes comprarlas. So, what's your name, mister? Damien. So, have you tried any of the foods from the Food & Wine? Yes, I have. Which ones have you tried? Just a, a almond, a raspberry almond cake. That's all I've tried so far. That's it? Yeah. Do you like it? No, it was not, not, too, not in my taste buds, but it could be in your taste buds. It definitely was. We just tried it. It was so good. That's what good. didn't you like about it? I'm not a big raspberry person. That's like, it was true. like syrupy. Yeah. I like real raspberries. Yeah. Texture-wise, it might be yeah. disappointing to some. Well, thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. You as well. I want to get famous. <laughs> now we get why you cannot choose certain uh, foods at the pre-order when you go order your food because there's a big line for that particular item. Right there. So this was the grilled top sirloin. You cannot pre-order it because you know maybe we get here and it's not available. And it will save us a headache to just go back and get a refund. This is stop number two for merch. It's a bigger section, more official, that you have home decor there. You have a kitchen kitchen decor. You've got your merch over here, clothes, spare jerseys, bags, just more visible to, to the consumer. There's also pins that you can purchase for the food and wine. You see? That's so nice. And then this guy is a walking, talking gift card. You can reload on this and you don't have to reach in through your purse to grab it, watch out. You just say, hey, I have stuff to purchase. Bling, 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 bling. So the Sip and Saver Pass eligibility doesn't just come from the booths. It also comes from other places in the park. Take for example, the cappuccino cart. You have two items that are eligible. The milk, the honeydew milk tea, and the uh, espresso loaf. There are all the other locations that you can go and check out and get eligible options for food and wine with your sip and savor pass. Don't fall down the stairs, okay? Whoa, I'm not old. What are we gonna get here? Nothing. We're I'm just... full. <laughs> We're in Cucina Cucumanga, and here's another sip and savor eligible option which is the strawberry horchata i tried it before and it's amazing also they have the same thing but with spiced rum that is not eligible for the sip and savor unfortunately because it is alcohol alcohol no es parte del sip and savor esa no puedes adornar allá en los booths all right so we're heading to peppers caliente and we're gonna get our last two and our receipt. So, what we are gonna get is a empanada chile relleno 
and the shrimp papas locos. Locas. So. Are they crazy girls? Yeah. Oh, look at Judy. She's so fluffy. Oh, look at that. Let's start with this one. Just holding yourself together. Very spicy. Oh no. Oh no. Flavor's good. Subtle. So you had your fun. And now I want to try the shrimp papas locas. What is that? Relish? Jalapeno. Salsa. It's like green salsa. It smells hot. Elote. What's elote? It's cactus. Oh, nopal? Nopal. It's alright. Nopal. Oh god. <laughs> anyway. You gave me the, the, the worst one because I don't like potatoes. Oh, okay, okay. It smells good. <laughs> Must be some sort of ritual. It's like I'm biting into a hash brown. <laughs> no. I would like that. Hash browns? Let me try the empanada. Cilantro? Baby cilantro? It's like, hello. Okay. It's spicy, yes. What is that sauce? I immediately, I'm not immediate, but I was just not sure about this. And now I'm sure that I don't like it. I'm not going to eat the shrimp, but I am going to eat the papas locas. This is way more enjoyable than that one. Yeah. I guess that's why they call it peppers caliente because this is like insanely hot in my mouth. Yeah, it's gonna burn your lips right now. Yeah, this is good. I like this without the trim, but. Yeah. I'm channeling my inner ancestors and they said, no gracias, thank you. It's a one star for me for both, but out of those two, I like this one more. Well, let's let's rate this. So oh. the empanada and the, the papas locas, they get a one star for aesthetics because they both looked really good. Pretty. This, I give no star for this scent because they did not smell good. And I give no star for the taste because they did not taste good. Yeah. So what would you rate it? A one star. Yeah, okay. One star. This Maybe like... one and a half for you because you keep eating those low those papas. I like papas. We're over here at the Paradise Garden Grill. Listening to some nice smooth jazz. I don't think it's so smooth, it's very upbeat more right now. Anyway. So there are two items here that are sip and savor eligible. Let's take a look a closer. So the two items that are sip and savor eligible are the taco gobernador and the pistachio cheesecake. Certain items are not part of the sip and savor, right? They are not eligible. The sign in front of the restaurant will say that certain things are sip and savor eligible. The items that are up here are in celebration of food and wine, but they have to be individually charged. So like the loaded baked potato, the um, the chicken musakan and the sising burrito. Those, and then you course you have the full size tacos from the door. Chicken burrito. <laughs> so, uh, so unfortunately, those items you have to pay separate. But still, come try them anyway. They're not actually bad price, and they're large portions. So I'm talking. The baked potato was like the size of my head. Okay, it was huge. 
So we have one left of our Super Saver Pass, and we're going to get the unforgettable Bing Bong Churro. Just kidding, he's not eligible for Sip and Saver. So, it is eligible for a visa. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, it doesn't look like marinara. It looked like marinara in the picture, but it looks like strawberry glaze with uh, cream, vanilla cream, I think. Well, it's little sprinkles, you see that? All right, let's give it a, let's give it a go. Hopefully it's not forgettable. My favorite one was the carrot cake. This is my second favorite. Oh boy! So, it's all right. Oh good. Yeah. I like that. Yay! I'll take the other side because it's got the pretty sprinkles on it. Ooh. It smells like a Pop-Tart. Oh my. That is so much sugar. But actually, it's good. I like this. My favorite one was the cannoli churro. That was the winner. So this does come in a close second though. The aesthetics are wonderful. So they actually like took the time to like do the drizzles properly. It's got sprinkles. <laughs> I love sprinkles. Come on, stop it. I just licked my hand that touched a whole bunch of stuff. That's really gross. I'm so sorry, everybody. But yes, it unfortunately is not sip and savor eligible. So there's a bummer. But it's 7.25, it's not like the end of the world. Three for me, it's a three star. Thinking of, if you're hesitating on this, just get it. What are you doing? Just get it. Just go to Pierce College. Just go. Oh, I was like that college. Get out of here. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Go to college. It's a, it's a treat. Treat yourself. Why not? It's better than the honey lemon, whatever the hell that was. That was oh, the yeah. grossest That's thing I've ever tried in my life. Ever. This is good. Try this, not that. Are you ready? food lovers like me these two are the best spots which is the earth eats right here which has a impossible beef stroganoff and then we also have the impossible chicken bites right over here which has the baja style fish tacos that one is 100 percent vegan and i tried it it's amazing it tastes like real fish and it will blow your mind. And it looks like there's a listing here of festival entertainment, live music, Palisade Stage Showtime, and Paradise Garden Bandstand Showtime. So you can take a look here because they do have a map, it looks like. There's the map, and there's the whole list of the marketplaces, the booths participating locations, festival symbols, and character experiences. So yes, you can meet with Chef Goofy. He will probably throw pots and pans at you if your soup is raw. So be careful. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what he's doing over there. 
just taking pictures. So um, yeah, that looks so enjoyable. And we do have, since we didn't get our churro scan for Sip and Savor, we still have one item left. So I think it's gonna be that chicken lollipop that's over at Studio Catering Company or truck. So let's go find out. Let's go try it. Wow. Very nice. That's my feet. Oh, that's amazing. Last item spent was this chicken lollipop. Complete with the bone. Aesthetics, I'd say the picture looked better, so that is like no star for that. It smells like Chinese food, so no. I saw poblano mashed potato. I don't know how they did that. Pureed the poblano. Let's give this one a go. There's something fishy about the sauce. I'm sure when I look back at it and read it again, I'll be like, oh, that makes sense. But I don't know what's in it right now. I will say that the chicken is hot and the chicken is moist. The mashed potatoes tone it down a bit, so I like that. Thank you, mashed potato. It's gonna be two for me. Two out of three. Not chef's choice, I'm afraid. It would have been three if it hadn't been for that weird sauce. I do not know what it is. I'm kind of scared. I like the name, chicken lollipop. If you love chicken, drenched is like weird fishy sauce. <laughs> then you'll love it. <laughs> but I'm really hungry now. <laughs> My lollipop is gone. The last place we've come to is the Lamplight Lounge. We aren't going in there today because we do not have a reservation and it already looks pretty packed as it is. There are, I think, two items that are not sip and savor eligible, but they do have two special items for food and wine. I don't know what they look like. One's called surf with a little bit of turf or surf or turf with a little bit of surf. And the other one I have no idea. If you're looking for a restaurant place that is celebrating food and wine, this is one of them. And also the restaurants at Downtown Disney have food and wine special items for their menu too that unfortunately are not sip and savor eligible. That wraps it up for Food and Wine Fest 2024. We hope you guys got a lot of good information from us and we hope it helped you some. It needs a little more work, but there were a lot of good items that uh, I really enjoyed, but I really hope they improve on flavors for certain And I items. hope they bring avocado time back. Yeah, that too. Because yeah. I don't see the deal why they're really pushing avocado time yeah. and there's no avocado food, so. Yeah. Uh, please like and subscribe. We really do appreciate and have a we, we appreciate everybody that views us. Please follow on Instagram. We appreciate everybody there. We just love making the content and we are so grateful that you guys enjoy it. So Chicanos allá en el mundo que están viendo este video, por favor, sígalos en Instagram. Sígalos en YouTube, Magical Chicanos. Y los doy un feliz día, que, que tengan un día amazing, I can't say that in Spanish, I don't know why, but uh, yes, fantástico, fantástico, se, de un día fantástico y soporta y sígalos a Instagram y a YouTube, Magical Chicanos, adiós. Yeah, see you next time.